Good day, viewers. It's another time again to sit and learn at the feet of Jesus. Welcome to today's session of Bible study. We're believing God to reveal his mind to us again via his word. David proclaimed, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We are trusting the Lord that this word will shed light in our lives, even as we discuss together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Remember our sub team, the Lord God and the reign of peace. Our team, rather, our sub team is means of God's revelation to mankind, which we've been discussing since the past month. This is the first Sunday in February, and we are still continuing on that. And today we'll be discussing how God has revealed himself to us via Jesus Christ, his son. I am in the studio with our resource persons. By my left is Mrs. Temitayo Otoki. He is a priest wife in the Diocese of Abuja. Mommy, you're welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. Viewers, good to see you over there. I pray that the Lord will use this time to bless you in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And by my right is Mrs. Mitchell Dajo. She's equally a priest wife and the wife of the secretary of our communion. Mommy, you're welcome. The general secretary, you're welcome to the program. Ma. Thank you very much. Viewers, it's nice to come across to you through your video homes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our aims quickly will be to show Jesus Christ as the final revelation of God to mankind. If you would recall, in the past series, we've looked at how God revealed himself to us via his word, through dreams, through the prophets. And today, we'll be looking at Jesus as the final revelation of God to mankind. And secondly, to expose the earthly reign of Jesus and his eternal reign in heaven. I encourage you to sit tight. Invite the whole of your family, your neighbors. Let's see briefly, as the Lord feeds us unto satisfaction, via his word. Mm -hmm. In our tradition, I will encourage us to read our background text. Momedajo, Hebrews chapter 1, 1 to 3. Let's read our text and then begin from there. Hebrews chapter 1, from verse 1. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Awesome. That scripture uh, puts some energy in my spirit. When I look at uh, verse 3, it mm -hmm. says, Jesus, being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. In other words, when a man sees Jesus, he has seen God. Yeah, exactly. When a man has an encounter with the man of Calvary, he has encountered God. Little wonder Philip asked him and said, Lord, show us the Father. Mm -hmm. And Jesus mm -hmm. said, have I been with you all this while? <laughs> and you're asking, I am the way the truth and the life. I pray that God will help us encounter him. I'm already Amen. getting excited via his <laughs> word. That the Lord will encounter us as we study in the name of Jesus. Amen. Introduction. The phrase at sundry times really means in many portions of the Old Testament scriptures. This means that all revelations to be known we are not given to only one prophet. But each received that which was given to him. Likewise, the phrase in diverse manners also means some of the prophets heard audible voice of God, some through Urim and Tumim, some through dreams, and some through visions. The Old Testament revelations were fragmentary in substance, even though they were many and various in form. There were a very multitude of prophets, yet they all prophesied only in parts. However, in Christ, the revelation of God is full. All mysteries to be known of God and his purpose in humankind 
are united in Jesus. Colossians chapter 1, I will say he is the image of the invisible God. And in chapter 3 of Colossians, they say you are complete in him. But we said everything there is to be done of the, the revelation of God to mankind is full in the person of Christ. You don't need to group in darkness. Just get to know Christ. And then you get to know God to his fullest. May the Lord help us as we discuss Amen. together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mommy Otoki, we would like to start off with you. Yes, sir. Study guide question one. What do you understand by the statement, Jesus, the final revelation of God to mankind? That statement alone, a phrase. Thank you, sir. When we look at the word revelation, yes, ma'am. Theologically, revelation is manifestation of divine truths. Awesome. And so, when we are talking about Jesus Christ hmm. as the final revelation of God, we are saying that. Jesus Christ is the final manifestation of um, divine truth. truth. Awesome. Hmm. And the Bible says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus Christ himself says, I am the way, the truth, and the, and life. the life. And no one comes to the Father except, except by, by me. me. Awesome. Hmm. And also in the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 1 to 12, but I want to major on verse 12. He made us to understand that there is no other name by which salvation mm. is given mm. to man except, except the name, name Jesus. Jesus. So Jesus mm. is the overall, is the mm. complete mm. revelation, mm. the complete manifestation mm. of God. When you see God, you have seen see Jesus. Jesus. Awesome. When you see Jesus, you, you have, have seen, seen God. God. Awesome. And so when you are talking about revelation, the manifestation of God's truth as revealed to man, when you see Jesus, you have seen him. Thank God for that revelation. Thank you, Mommy. I'd like to share your thoughts. Mommy Dajo. Okay. Um, just to add to what she has said, I think I agree with that, especially concerning the word revelation. Mm. I'm looking at it from the standpoint of, um, you know, that um, simply like the last card. Hmm. As in God has been using different means. We saw through previous studies that there are verbal, prophets, there are prophets. It's like dreams. this is the last card Jesus. of God. Hmm. So he brought that last card to say this is the last. You know when you're playing the game of uh, cards or card, whatever, yeah. when someone drops the last, last card, card, it's like there's no other answer. Hmm. That's the way I understand awesome. it. Awesome. And also, I want to buttress that point, you know. In other religions, you know, they always give options that after this, 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 as if Jesus is just one mm. out of the so many that God has to dish. Exactly, ma'am. But Paul gave an admonition, you know, concerning that we as Christians, we know that that is not the standpoint mm. of God. After Jesus, there is no, no order. order. Mm -hmm. And Paul admonished in Galatians chapter mm. 1 from verse 6 to 8. And yeah. I want to stick to verse 8. Where he says, even if we or an angels angel from heaven, hmm. you know, preaches to you another gospel let aside from this one that we have presented to you, he says, let him be, be a cost. That is a very strong statement. Hmm. And I believe for Apostle Paul to make that statement, it means he's really bringing out, you know, this is all heaven has to give. Awesome. That even if angels, you know, we believe so much in revelations through different mm. means mm. but he said even if an angel from heaven comes mm. that means there is no other awesome. what we have is the final one. awesome you know jesus is not one of the alternatives i think i've said it before That's right. jesus is not one out of the many mm. jesus is the standard you know, I love the way he puts it. Mommy quoted it, John chapter 14, verse mm. 6. When I read that scripture, you know, I, was, I see the master trying to tell the disciples that he's a purpose-driven God. Mm. He said, if it were not so, I would have told, told you. you. I go to prepare a place. Mm. I don't have time for frivolities. Mm. He said, in my father's house. Mm. And after expounding that, he now said, for you to get there, mm. I am the way, the truth, truth and the, the life. life. That definite article, mm. the way and the, the truth. truth. Child of God, you don't need so many things. You mm. want to have a revelation of God. Mm. All you need is a genuine encounter mm. with, with Jesus. Jesus. 
that's more than enough. Yes. God will help us together Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mommy Dajon, why do you think Jesus mm. is superior to any other means of revelation? You know, we've looked mm. at visions, we've looked at prophets, we have looked at verbal, we've even looked at the word. Mm. Now, amongst all these avenues mm. via which God reveals himself to us, why do you think that Jesus is most superior? Jesus is in the superlative. You know, there's in, a, in our popular lingo in Nigeria, somebody will say, the of them all. <laughs> the ultimate yes. there is. So why do you think Jesus is in that superlative echelon? Matthew mm. chapter 17, verse 5, you help us read that. Okay. Mommy, that job. Acts chap Mommy, Mommy Otoki, rather. <laughs> Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, 22 to 24. Let's mm. take your thoughts as we read all the right. scriptures. Matthew 17, verse 5. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Hmm. And suddenly, a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Awesome. Acts 3, 22 3, to 24. 22 to 24. For Moses truly said to the fathers, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren. Him you shall hear in all things, whatever he says to you. And it shall be that every soul who will not hear that prophet <coughs> shall be utterly destroyed mm. from among the people. Mm. Yes, all the prophets from Samuel and those who follow as many as have spoken have also foretold these days. Awesome. So, Mumidajo, looking okay. at these two scriptures, mm. why do you think among, we have great prophets in yeah. the scriptures? Somewhere, for example, prophets. Bible said his word mm -hmm. never fell to the ground. First mm -hmm. Samuel 3 18. Samuel, Everything Jeremiah, real, Isaiah, amongst them mm. all, Jesus is most superior. Why? Yeah. Why? Our verse um, that we read in Matthew talks about you know when Jesus when God himself introduced his son Jesus Christ and we also that this one happened at the transfiguration yes ma'am the Mount of transfiguration now the other time this is not the only time Jesus is being introduced by his father mm. we also see another episode where he was introduced in Matthew chapter 3 during his baptism mm. but I like this passage I think it goes further Apart from saying, this is my beloved son, he said, hear him. Now, if we want to see why or what Jesus said that we need to hear, Jesus also introduced himself as he and the father being, being one. one. We can see that in John 10 verse 30. Hmm. In John chapter 10, 10 verse, 30. verse 30, he says something there. Hmm. Verse 30. 30. Read I read it quickly. Okay. I and my father, father are one. Father. So that is another passage, you know, God has said it, and then Jesus also said his own, as in, this is my son, this is my father. Now, to agree with this, you know, this is one thing that Jesus said. Why do we think Jesus is superior? For me, he is superior because he is the son of God. That is the first statement I want to see. Mm. Now, if God has instructed us that we should hear him, hear what he has to say. Now, Jesus has said this. And then, having told us that he and the Father are one, it means they are of one mind. Mm. There is no prophet in the Bible at any point in time, no matter how great. You know, you mentioned Samuel, you mm. mentioned um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Elijah, mm. with how great they were. None of them ever, you know, took that position to say, I and the Father Sa are, one. are one. None of them. Mm. If the song would say, you know, uh, uh, oh, a uh, man of unclean lips mm. or whatever. Uh, why are you so mindful mm. of me? All those statements. But in the case of Jesus, both cases, God attested, Jesus attested. Uh. And because they attested, we know that indeed he is superior. And, um, you know, there are passages in, um, in the Bible where it talks about Jesus being uh, in John, I think, John 1. Mm. At the beginning, you know. In the beginning was, was the, the word, word, and the word was, was with God, God, and the word was God. And they said there is nothing that, that was created without him. him. Mm. So that tells us that besides being just the revelation, 
or a means through which God speaks to us. It means that he is God himself. himself. So that's He's the very essence of, of God. God. I and my father are one. Amen. Mommy, your take on this. Thank you, sir. From the place where I read, when we look at the Bible very well, the Bible says in that verse 22, it says, mm. For Moses truly said to the fathers, mm. The Lord your God will raise for you a prophet. When you look at that prophet, it's written mm. a capital letter. Yes. Mm. So it's not talking about any other oh, prophet. Prophets. Prophets. Captain of the prophet. And he said, Him, that mm. him is also in capital letter. Mm. Him, you shall hear mm. in all things. This is mm. what Deuteronomy have said. Uh. And also the book of Matthew that we talk about, God also now introducing the Lord mm. Jesus Christ. And he said, so. This is my beloved so. son. In, in whom I, I am well, well pleased. pleased. Not just pleased, well, well pleased. pleased. That, that adjective that, is that instructive. I, yes, instructive. very, very important. Mm. And when we look at other prophets in the Bible, they could either be prophets for one season or the other. Mm. But That's Jesus right. Christ is prophet for, from forever. generation mm. to generation, That's from right. Genesis to Even Revelation. All those prophet Even prophet prophesied about, about, about him. Right. Awesome. There is mm. no no portion of the mm. Bible, no chapter of the Bible that did not talk Reference about him. the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Awesome. Mm. Awesome. And the Bible makes us to understand that this same Jesus Christ mm. is prophet, is priest, mm. and is king. king. Awesome. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. Very powerful. And an scripture. advocate. <laughs> and an advocate. Not just an advocate. Bible says an advocate yeah. with yeah. the Father. He's on the side of the, of father. the father. Awesome. You know, when you were talking, mommy, I just remembered, you know, mm. somebody was giving an exposition on this. I say, every other prophet, mm. when they spoke, they will say, thus says the, the Lord. Lord. That's but right. Jesus will come and say, I say I to you. Very I, say I say to you. To you. He, knew, he knew his essence. Right. Yes. He knew where he was coming. Mm. And Bible say, him you will hear in all mm. things. Mm. You know why this is instructive for me, child of God? We live in a time. When there is this mm. tendency for people to hear voices right. from diverse channels. Mm. And the question the Holy Spirit is raising, mm. whom are you hearing? Mm. That's right. In all matters relating to your marriage, mm. in all matters relating to your business, in all matters relating to your spiritual work with God, mm. who are you hearing? Who makes the rule? Who is the final standard? Mm. Is it this prophet of God that is revealed in the person of Jesus? You know, in our generation, people are wont to hear, hey, my, uh, my, this suits you, say to mm. me, I read this book and this right. person said. Right. Uh, and the word of God says, who mm. says and come to pass when, when, when the, the Lord, Lord has, has not, not spoken. Mm. He is the one you will hear. Yes. And when a man hears God, mm. That man enters into the God kind of yes, rest. So. He will have rest and everything. Amen. And I pray for you that this year is your mm, beginning. Jesus. We are beginning. This is February already. Mm. The year perhaps may have not have run fast. Mm. The year is just starting. It's still early in the day, so to say. We pray for you mm. that the essence of this study will down on you. And Amen. you will hear God in all things. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Child of God. We'll be back in a moment to continue. It's been awesome on this mount. Mm -hmm. God indeed is faithful. Yes. We'll be back. God bless you. Amen. Now streaming, now analyzing, now assessing, now discussing, now sharing your thoughts on everything and every issue that affects you. ACNN's Now Streaming discusses the issues trending and the matters that matter to us all. Join us every Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. on ACNN as we go in-depth into every issue that impacts our lives, our communities, and our country. Welcome back. Remember, today's Bible study has been on the person of Jesus. How God has revealed himself to mankind through his son. Remember also that I've been in the studio with our resource person, Mommy Mitchell Dajo. I'm Mommy Temita Yotoki. Welcome to the program once again. Thank, Thank you. you. Now we'll continue uh, uh, in our study guide questions, question three, where we left off. Mommy Yotoki, ma, you help us read Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2 for emphasis. That's our background text again. And discuss the three qualities found in Christ that was not found in any other of the prophets in the Old Testament. Hebrews 1, 2. Hebrews 1, verse 2. 
6 1 2 as in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he has appointed heirs of all things through whom also he made the, the world so the three qualities in that scripture that we find in Jesus that we cannot find in any other prophets, prophets in the Old Testament praise the lord hallelujah, hallelah. We in the, in, a, in answering question two, we have talked about one of it, mm. which is Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Awesome. Mm. As the Son of God. Exactly. And um, the Bible. We Mommy, have, that's it. That's that faith phrase there. Yes. Spoken yes. to us by, by his, his son. son. Awesome. His son. Mm. And the second one, he said, he has appointed okay. ear of, of all, all things. Yeah. Jesus. Here of all things, Jesus. Jesus Christ is the firstborn mm. of God. Firstborn first even in the dead. Mm. Firstborn of all everything. Things. All Jesus. things all is things the heir. And the third one, he said, the world were made through him. Through him. him. There mm. is no prophet that the world was made through. Mm. In fact, the Bible makes us to understand that mm. right from the beginning, the book of John, John chapter 10 for, from verse 13 made, made us to understand that Jesus Christ was there awesome. when the word was, was, being made. Crea was being created. In fact, he said in the book of John, he said, in the beginning was the word. Mm. The word was with God. And, and the, the word, word was, was God. God. He was in he the was beginning with, with God. God. Let me read three. He said, all things we are made through him. Mm. And without him, nothing was made that, that was, was made. made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Verse 5. But we say, and that light shines in, in darkness, darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend, comprehend it. it. Continue, ma'am. So, when we look at these scriptures, so, number one is that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, mm. is the Son of God, awesome. and is the Word of God personified. Awesome. Mm. There is no other person yes, that yeah. can have that title, mm. or that, have, that can have that... Uh, uh, mm. Tied to or that, that name, position, that so position. Mm. No other prophet, mm. no, no, uh, nobody. Yes. Only the Lord Jesus Christ awesome. and God Himself has introduced Him, mm. and also is the heir of all, all things. things, all mm. things in heaven and, and on earth, earth. and even mm. beneath, beneath the earth. Mm. Jesus Christ is the heir of, mm. and even the Word of God says. He says, of all of you angels, mm. did he call, mm. did, has he ever said, today mm. I've begotten mm. you. Mm. But when we look at, even when the Lord is calling us to salvation mm. in the book of John, mm. he, he says, he, he talks about the Lord Jesus Christ as my begotten son. son. Mm. Begotten son. He said, for God so loved the world mm. that he gave us his only begotten, begotten son. son. So that is Jesus Christ. You know, it cannot be any other person. Mm. And is the ear of all things. Mm. And to cap it up, through him, the oh. entire world. Talk of anything. He was mm. right there. The Bible, even the Lord Jesus Christ said, He said, Before Abraham was, I, I am. am. Jesus. I am not I was. Mm. I am. am. So Jesus Christ has been from the foundation of the, of the earth. earth. Mm. And will continue. And it will con Bible says of continue. the increase of his government, yes, there yes, will be no end. end. History is all about mm. him. Recently, some months back, we just celebrated Christmas. Mm. That is the essence of the season. Mm. We thank God for this. You know, when you talked about hair of all things, it struck me deeply, sincerely mm. speaking. What does it mean for a man to be an hair? Mm -hmm. You know, he's a legal inheritor. Yes. yes. That's right. You know, imagine the Af those who are rich mm. in they, our time. They struggle. They struggle <laughs> that maybe I want to be a yes. heir to inherit this estate. Mm. Then imagine the God of mm. all the earth mm. being an heir mm. of all the oh. eight states in heaven and earth and, of the great. You know, the awesome. There was a day just by the way, mm. I was watching a football match. The owner of this football club, English football club called Chelsea, they brought the video focused on the song. And something that the commentator said struck me that day. Hmm. 
as they brought the song, the TV the focus the TV, the commentator left the football commentary <laughs> to say, can you see that young chap there? He will never be poor hmm. in his life. Why? He is, he is an heir to Roman Abrahimovich, mm. the owner of Chelsea. Then imagine being the son mm. of God. Oh, God. What there is is for you to inherit. And that's why any life outside of Jesus is a life mm. in crisis. Look at the bounties, the riches in heaven and earth that can accrue to a man that has mm. made himself an heir mm. through a relationship with Jesus. Mm. Child of God, don't be mm. outside the fold. Come mm. inside so that you partake of these blessings. Mommy Dajo, I would like to share your thoughts further on this. The three qualities, is still striking. Yes. The three qualities that we find in Jesus that we don't find in all other I prophets. I agree with those three qualities that she brought out, being the son of God and then also being appointed an heir and then also creator of the world. Hmm. You know, I, as I was doing my studies and I just fell, my eyes fell on um, 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. And I want to read it for us. Mm. For there are three that bear witness in heaven. Mm. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Mm. I like the choice of the Word mm. here, referring to Jesus. Just to agree with the point she made, that mm. Jesus is the Word. The Word, yeah. The word we already know that Jesus is the Son. In other passages, it will say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm. But here it says the Word. So I want to agree with that, that he, the word, is also the son of God. Hmm. And it is one of the qualities. The second one about being an heir, you know, of all things. When Jesus Christ died and resurrected in Matthew 28, verse 18, when he was given what we now know popularly as, as the a great, great commission, commission, yeah, he said all power. authority, all power in, in some uh, uh, versions so, yeah. of the Bible have been given to me. Hmm. And he says, go therefore. He says, in heaven and, and on earth. earth. So that is very important to also buttress the point she made, mm. that in heaven on and earth, on earth. And we know even beyond the, the earth, earth, if there is any living thing beneath, he has power mm -hmm. over hmm. it. And then he says, go therefore and make disciples, baptizing them in, in the, the name, name of the Father, the, the Son, Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, which is where this one also comes from and then lastly for the last one being you know the creator of the world of course john chapter 1 verse one, 1 to 3 tells us that in the beginning you know everything i've already mentioned that in my previous question awesome so these are all indicators you know of qualities that jesus christ bore mm. that none of these other prophets Bo had awesome and little then, wonder okay mommy and then sorry from uh, colossians chapter mm. 1 from verse 15 to 18. Yeah, I, I went just to want that us to read so that yeah. uh, everything that we have been talking about is, is summed up. Is <laughs> summed summed up. up there. I went yeah. to that scripture earlier. Mm. Yes. Mm. It what? says, He is the image of the invisible, invisible God, God, the, the firstborn first over mm. all creation. Mm. For by Him all, all things, things were like created it. that are in heaven mm. and that are on earth, mm. visible I'm and invisible, mm. whether thrones mm. or dominions. Or principalities mm. or past. Mm. All things were created through him mm. and for him. him. And he is before all things. And mm. in him all, all things, things consist. Mm. And he is the head of the body, mm. the, the church. church, who is the beginning, mm. the from firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. Mm. Hmm. Hallelujah. Awesome. Mm. Powerful scripture. I think that sums it up completely, completely. All what we've been saying concerning. You know, there's a word of promise that the Holy Spirit mm. is dropping in my spirit as mommy was reading. Mm. He said he, he created all things in heaven and earth, mm. visible and, and, and invisible. invisible. As a child of God, that thing that you're trusting God for, mm. via the human eye, is not yet visible. Man may not be able to see it now. But I see God saying via this scripture that it's been created. That in the course of the year, God will release it to Amen. you. You will see it fully. You say, Amen. He created all things in heaven and on earth, mm. visible and, and invisible. invisible. And for now, you are still panting and saying, God, when, I will, when will I take hold of this promise? Mm. It's been created. You will receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, mommy, as you also mm. talk about the person of Jesus, 
my mind took me to Philippians chapter 2 from verse mm. 10 following. Mm. Bible says, for this reason, God has given him a name yeah, that is, that so is above yes, every yes, other yes, name, yes. that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. It doesn't matter mm. whether you are the king. That's you can only be king in that space mm. where God has allowed you to mm. uh, uh, exercise your influence. Mm. But there is the king of, of kings. kings and the lord of, of lords. Lord. Awesome. Amen. Mommy, making the three qualities of Jesus in Hebrews 1 verse 2. Mommy, that's your now. Mm. The basis. Mm. How can you explain Jesus' reign on earth and in heaven? You help us with John chapter 14, 9 and 10. Okay. Then Mommy Otoki. Proverbs 8, 26 to 31, as well as Psalm 110, verse 1 and 2. And I'll take Philippians chapter 2, 5, verse 11. I think that's the scripture I just quoted, yes, verse 10 of it. Exactly. We just read it and then we we'll begin yes. to round up the discussion today. All right. John chapter 14, from verse 9. I read, mm. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, awesome. and yet you have not known me, Philip? Mm. He who has seen me has, has seen, seen the, the Father. Father. Also, so how can you say, show us the, the Father? Father. Mm. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Jesus. The the Proverbs 8, 26 to 31, Mommy Dajo, as well as Psalm. Okay, Proverbs 8. Okay. 26 to 31. Okay. Okay. Mommy, you're talking rather, sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> While as yet he had not made the head or the feet or the primal dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. Hmm. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, hmm. when he assigned the sea its limits, hmm. so that the waters would Jesus. not transgress his command. Jesus. Hmm. When he marked out the foundation of the earth, then I was beside him mm. as a master craftsman. Mm. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, mm. rejoicing in his inhabited world. And my delight was with the sons of men. Awesome. Also read Psalm, Mamiotoki, 110, verse 1 and 2. Psalm, quickly. And then I'll take Hebrews and then we'll begin to conclude. Psalm 110, verses 1 and 2. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at mm. my right hand till I make your enemies your foes too. Mm. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion. Rule in, in the, the midst, midst of your, of your enemies. enemies. Mm. Philippians chapter 2, 5 to 11. Quickly, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, mm. but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant, and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Mm. Therefore God also has highly exalted him, and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, Every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Mommy Dajo, mm. making the three qualities that we established yes. earlier from mm. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2, the basis now, how can you explain Jesus' reign in heaven and on earth? Looking at all the scriptures that we just read. These passages we read, I think, are very powerful in bringing out, you know, these points that we read. About awesome. the qualities of Jesus. Awesome. Which is about the Son of God and then being an heir and then also creator of the world. Those awesome. are the three qualities we brought mm. up. Now, basing our discussion on that, the question is, how do you explain his reign on earth? I would want... To start by referring to the passage I read in John chapter 14 hmm. and verse 9, where he was having this conversation with Philip. Hmm. When Philip asked him, show us the, the father. father. And he was like, have you been with me all this while? And you're still asking Skin. this kind of question. question. Show me the father. You should know by now that hmm. I and the father are one. Awesome. That was the uh, you know, discussion he was trying to present to him. And then he went further. 
to say the Father works in me. Mm. How I would say Jesus reigned on earth was that he was in perfect harmony with his the father. father and he was walking in the will of his father even awesome. while he was here on earth hmm. because if he were not walking in the precepts that his father sent him awesome. the father would not be through him walking because exactly. he attested to that in this passage awesome. that it is the father that is doing his, his work through, through him. him and i see it you know we can even use it today we are instruments hmm. when we avail ourselves to god God does his work through us. Hmm. You know, when it comes to the issue of salvation and we are reaching out to people, it is important for Christians to know that it is not our job to convict. It is exactly. the Holy Spirit, Spirit that convicts. Yours is to say the word. Exactly. It is the Father who through you, the he vessel, will work. do his own work. Awesome. So that is one important um, point hmm. that I could bring out from John chapter 14, verse 9 and 10. And also, considering how his reign in heaven so the first one i said his mm. reign on earth was that he was in perfect fellowship and harmony with, with the father. father and then concerning his reign in heaven mm. you know proverbs and um, psalms attest to the fact that jesus christ was right there even before creation awesome that he partook in creation mm. so it is one of the points that we can also bring out you know uh, or to explain that how his, he reigned. He reigned beside the Father. The passage in, I think, is it in Psalms, said he was seated at the right hand of the Father. And we know that even right now, Jesus is still seated at, at the, the right, right hand, hand of the Father. There awesome. are so many passages in the Bible that attest to that. And the last passage you read for us in Philippians chapter 2 talks about the humility of Jesus while he walked on earth. So mm. that's another passage that points to the way he reigned on earth. Awesome. He came, humbled himself, and came in human flesh. Form. Human form. In flesh. You know, for, a, for someone who was at that level being God, coming down to be man, it was like letting him down mm. it was it it took humility for him to come to mm. that level. and even as man the bible tells us he didn't just stop being as a rich mm. man or a king or someone mm. he came even his birth was from a lowly background yes ma that's humility too mm. and even at that they say he further humbled himself and died and died even death on, on the, the cross, cross. That it's like he keeps going low, and he said he didn't even claim it robbery. He didn't see it as robbery. To be equal, to be to equal God. with God. And then what does it say? For because this reason, of that, God, God has, has highly exalted, exalted him. him. And giving him a name. And then to mention the point you, the, the passage where you quoted for us from that yeah, Philippians, yeah. is still the same passage. Yeah. He said, at the name of Jesus, Jesus every knee shall bow. bow. Awesome. And we see that he will reign. Hmm. He is reigning right now and his reign will continue. There was a point uh, Mommy Otoki mentioned about him, uh, other prophets reigning for a while. But Jesus Christ's reign will be, as in he has been reigning before hmm. even the world yes. started. Hmm. And he will keep reigning until eternity comes and we are in it. Hmm. So that is how we see his reign. He hmm. has reigned in the past, well, I mean, before creation. He He's reigned on the... earth. And he will reign. And he will still reign because he is still reigning. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Psalm 103, 19. The Lord has set his kingdom in the heavens mm -hmm. and his kingdom ruleth over mm -hmm. all. Mommy mm -hmm. Otoki, your concluding thoughts on this question for as we thank, round up. Thank you, sir. As uh, Mommy Daju was talking, something was coming to my mind. And I want to uh, encourage our viewers at all. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was with God. Mm -hmm when the whole heaven and the whole earth was being created mm. and he did not count it robbery mm. to mm. know to begin to show up that mm. after all i am I've this and that. Mm. i have never seen the kind of humility mm. like that awesome somebody he, he says something in the book of proverbs he said then i was beside him mm. as a master that craftsman that's jesus that's right. He was mm. there. And when the Lord was creating the whole heaven mm. and the Oha, he was not uh, 
you know, interrupting. Was mm. well. He was he not was interrupting. Well. He was not saying, yeah, you have not done it mm. well. Mm. You, you, have, you shouldn't have done it this way. Jesus. He was so humble. Mm. So humble. I have not seen that. And mm. that is why Jesus said, let this mind be no, in you. He said, let mm. this mind be, be in you, was which was Christ also Christ. in Christ the Jesus. The question is, how many of us have mm. that mind? That Isn't kind it of humility. That's yeah. the challenge. Even mm. in, uh, in, uh, in our churches, they mm. put you together, venerable, mm. venerable. Mm. It's as if the whole world will crumble. Will crumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not to now talk mm. of God. This is God. God and, and, and His and, Son. And God. His son. God. They, mm. Jesus. They are together. The Lord has, yeah. the, my Lord spoke to my Lord. Mm. <laughs> in that sense. Yes. God and God. Yeah. Also. No wonder in the book of Philippians mm. that we now read. That yeah. God will have to exalt yeah. him mm. and give him a mm. name that is above all Every name. Other name. Mm. Please, mm. I want to I want to beg mm. of us, mm. viewers at mm. home, let our humility be, be that of the Lord Jesus mm. Christ. Awesome. Let the mind of Christ be in you. Mm. The, if the mind of Christ is in you, mm. people may call you fool. People may call you all manner of names. Say we become food yes, for, for Christ. Yes, Christ. but awesome. you know mm. that you are targeting heaven. Mm. Awesome. And you 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 are not uh, earthly minded. Awesome. But you are targeting heaven, mm. and Christ is the one ruling mm. in you. Awesome. But I pray God will help us. Just, just, a, just a word. Out. Yes, just you know when she mentioned this um, statement about Jesus being there and then not pointing, mm. say you didn't do this well. You know, what even just came to my mind was that he wasn't also passive mm. in the sense that he had his own idea. He said he was the master crafter. So, mm, I was, was beside him as the master crafter. He was also participating, but there was harmony. harmony. Hmm. That's just the point I wanted to You know, you address. talked about mm. why he was on earth. He walked in perfect harmony. harmony. He was so at rest. You know, in John chapter 16, verse 32, he was telling mm. his disciples, a time will come when all of you will leave me. But he said, I am not alone. Mm. Why? The My father heaven. is with me. He was always at rest. Mm. When he came to the tomb mm. and he said, Lord, <laughs> not because you do not hear me, but for mm. the sake of these people. people. Yeah. Mm. He was so sure because mm. he was walking in harmony with the father. Mm. Something struck me in that Proverbs mm. when he said, I'm beside as the master crab. And he talked about the boundaries of the oceans, mm. the mm. magnificence of his creation. Mm. Somebody talked about, is it where the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean met? One side of the ocean is blue, the other side is white, mm. okay. and they are not intermingling. Mm. You will see the sharp delineation clearly, mm. and you are asking yourself, who could have done this? Yes, <laughs> that they are not overflowing that's into right. each other. And, and sir, in the in Equity uh, State, yeah, there the is the water. water. Uh, okay. is what I know. Yeah. Because it's spring. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Hot, hot water and cold, cold, water. Water. And cold water. Who but could have done this? From the same source. God. This awesome <laughs> God. Child of God is important. Mm. You want to know all there is to this mm. God mm. who created the heaven and the earth. You need to know him through mm. his son, Jesus Christ. And it's the final revelation of God to mankind. You don't need any other. You don't need to group in darkness. He is the final revelation of God to mankind. God has highly exalted Amen. him. Of the increase of his government, there will be no end. All other kingdoms will come to an end, but yes. he shall reign forever and ever. Hallelujah. Conclusion. Jesus' superiority to all other means of God's revelation to mankind stems from the fact that he is the Son and he is one with the Father. He is whom God has appointed heir of all things, because through him God made the world. Therefore, he reigns over all in the physical and the spiritual, and he will reign with God in heaven forever and forever. Amen. What a joy it will be mm. that we're also part of those Amen. that will experience this ah, at Amen. the final marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. Food for thought. The final revelation of God is the perfect manifestation of God to humankind. We take our memory verse together. Hebrews chapter 1, 1 to 2. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spoke in time past into the fathers by the prophets, as and in these last days, spoken unto us by his Son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the walls. Awesome. Child of God, it's been a blessing. I've been touched. God indeed has spoken to us. And I'm sure that God equally has blessed you. We pray 
that the blessings of today's study will encourage us and strengthen us Amen. even as we continue in our discipleship work of faith Amen. on this side of eternity. Amen. Amen. We're equally grateful to our resource persons. Mommy Otake, thank, thank, you, thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. May the work of God in your hand, especially in the area of our women ministry, mm. continue to prosper Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mommy Dajo, thank you. Thank we you. pray that the Lord will continually make lines fall unto you in pleasant Amen. places. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for having me too. Awesome. Thank you. Our commitment is to make sure that the undiluted word of God is proclaimed to the utmost end of the earth. That's our desire. That's our heart cry on this ACNM platform. Until next week, when I'll see you again, same time, keep on living for Jesus. God bless you. Amen.